Uh, my name is John Rockmore. Uh, I'm an adjunct instructor with Louisiana State University. Uh, I've been involved with training with, within LSU for uh, probably coming close to 10 years now. ERDBI is the Emergency Response to Domestic Biological Incidents. The course is designed to provide an, a little more of an awareness level for individuals, first responders, uh, and those people that might uh, eventually go to a situation uh, dealing with a biological event. We use subject matter experts with uh, uh, quite a bit of background in the biological arena. We have a really great cadre of instructors that bring a lot of uh, background and experience to the program and a lot of the students uh, really appreciate that. I love this field. I love microbiology, I love virology, uh, I'm intrigued by the bioterrorism aspect of it. Practically all of the people that we come to teach become less afraid of it. And that's the way it should be. It, it should be that these folks that are going to be called to deal with it know what they're facing. And that, quite frankly, if they're trained in it and comfortable in it, they'll do a better job for themselves and their families, because that's the important thing. I'm a farmer. There are potential threats to food supply. Obviously, the information can be beneficial to me in that regard. I am a police officer for the uh, city of Wilmington. I'm the clinical nurse specialist in the emergency department. Safety and security manager for St. Francis Hospital. Supervisor. I am director of security at St. Francis Hospital. We train an audience of first responders, uh, firefighters and police officers, uh, paramedics, some physicians and others, in the fundamentals of bioterrorism. Uh, we just try to make them uh, comfortable with what it's all about so that they can be on the front lines when they respond to an incident should one occur. Probably out of all the weapons a, a terrorist could use, I think that bioterrorism is the most feared of all because by the time your incubation periods occur and uh, an event happens, there could be a, a significant time lag before we could recognize that it was a terrorism event. At any time, somebody could put something into the system in the hospital and it, it would just create chaos. The training will come in handy for me uh, as a pre-hospital provider, as a emergency department worker, and as a member of the emergency management team. Um, it will enhance my knowledge and allow me to better, um, better deal with the incidents um, with a much, uh, much more in-depth knowledge. It gives us a little more confidence of what we're dealing with, how to deal with it, um, you know, how to set up command, how to mitigate the incident and how to properly protect our people and use the right equipment to determine you know, if these threats are real or not. I think it's great. Uh, like I said, the, the caliber of the instructors is, is just wonderful, putting the content, so uh, the, the class is really a good class. I've taken other courses and I can tell you that the, the knowledge that these guys have is unsurpassed in my opinion. I always feel safer after I finish one of these courses. I just hope that, uh, that someone I have trained will be able to help the citizens out uh, that they are responsible for because they are responsible. Uh, they make a difference and that's the important part of this whole program.